Good morning. I bought a set of Quick Jacks. Uh, the model is 7000 TLX. I bought them for multiple cars. I wanted something that would allow me to pick up the vehicle so I could change oil easily, I rotate the tires, put brakes on, maintenance on the car. I had some ramps, but they were too steep for a car that I bought. I looked around for some that were less steep that I could drive the car on. They had to be very long because the car sat low to the ground and they were very expensive. So I looked around, ended up with quick jacks. Uh, the quick jacks that I bought are really heavy duty. I bought them so they lift up my pickup and a car and another car and a few other things. So that's the model I decided upon. Now they're heavy and they're a little cumbersome. So just keep in mind they got a couple wheels at the end so you can move them around like a wheelbarrow, which is nice, but once you get them underneath the car, it's very well, it's a little difficult to get them to line up because the quick jack needs to be, both of these need to be parallel to each other. And the reason why they need to be parallel to each other is because the quick jack doesn't scissor up, it actually rotates. And what I mean by that is it rotates around these points here. And as it goes up, this point here swings this way. So that means the car is gonna move that way. The tires are still on the ground, it's gonna drag the tires. Also, this thing moves up. If they're not parallel this way, the points where you're lifting are going to move. So it's very important to get these things parallel. Uh, so my big thing was I want to be able to move it around easily underneath the vehicle. So I already have the kit or the brackets and the hardware that I put on here and added the wheels to this quick jack. I already installed it. I wanted it to look nice. I wanted it to look like it belonged on the quick jack. And as you can tell, if this thing was laying on the ground without this kit on here, or these wheels and hardware that I put on here, it would I couldn't push it around like this. This thing is super, super easy to maneuver. And the trick is it's in a position so as the quick jack goes up, the wheels lift up too, and then the quick jack is set on its frame. So here's the install kit. I'll go over it in detail and I'll show you the parts I used to put it together. So here are the parts I used to make this quick jack to add wheels to it so I could roll it around. I made these brackets and I will go over those in detail how I made them, what they're made out of. But I have some one inch, one and a half inch wheels here. I did have two inch wheels on there which I really liked, but the quick jack was a little over an inch higher off the ground than when it was set in flat, which I found was a little bit too high because as the quick jack came up, it took a while for the wheels to raise. Now, this could have been, I could have used these wheels if I would have made these brackets differently. I made these brackets uh, because this was the metal that I had laying around in the shop and I, uh, it was free to me because it was not being used. Uh, this right here is a, um, it's just a, a rod, it's all threaded, it's 7 16 and I put 3 8 inch washers right here, and I bolt them in there, and the reason why I use those, they're a little less than an inch in diameter, and they slide into these holes, let's see, they slide into the holes, I'll show you in a little bit, here on the quick jack, and that allows them to be centered. So, I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, the other part, this is what I made. And all this is, is um, 3 16 thick, inch and a half, angle iron. Uh, this is six inches here. This is two inch flat plate that I had laying around. It was quarter inch. And this is an inch and a half this way. This is an inch that way. I put this on the corner and I weld it right there. Uh, because of where this thing's mounted, this has to have a, an arch or a circle cut out on it because otherwise if it's pointing, it'll touch the ground. I'll show you that in a little bit. But I welded these guys up uh, for the two inch wheels, which uh, I ended up not using. I used the inch and a half. This is a seven, six, seven sixteen inch hole. This is a three eighths inch hole for this guy. Ended up using these, but the other thing is because the quick jack has a slope, as you can tell, 
this piece here has a slight incline and basically has a slope of a half inch over six inches and what i did was i just held this up a half inch with a piece of plate there and i clamped this down and i weld it so it'd have an arch and the reason i did that is so uh, the caster wheels were level uh, when this thing is attached so i'll go over to the quick jack and i'll show you how it attaches So the idea is we've got this uh, piece of tubing on the quick jack. It's a little over inch and a half, uh, little over an inch. These washers are a little bit less than an inch, so it keeps this thing centered. And you put this rod through here, and then you put the quick jack here. I'm sorry, my bracket here. And as you can tell, this right here, this piece, this holds this thing, uh, keeps it from going up, and we'll put the put the wheel there. Well, let me attach this real quick. All right, so then when there's a wheel here, this will get held up. I'll go ahead and attach the other side and tighten this up and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so I got the wheels on here, got this thing tightened up. As you can tell, when this gets pushed up, it pushes on that. When this arm comes up, these wheels will come up and it'll be off the ground and it'll be sitting on its base. You do want to orient the wheels this way as it goes up because uh, it'll start to tilt. And if it's over here, the wheel will shift this way and, and move your quick jack. So just a quick note. I'll put them on the rear and we'll give them a try and see how they work. So here's the angle iron, and I just rounded this so this pipe here, uh, it doesn't extend beyond that, because that's it actually sits on this lip right back here. So when this goes up, if it was a square end, it wouldn't dig into the to your floor. And uh, this little piece here keeps this wheel uh, from going on up, and then you should be able to roll it around very easily. And it matches pretty good. Oh, it looks okay. up a little bit before those wheels are off the ground. <clears throat> That's pretty good. So one thing I wanted to point out, if you have these mounting brackets and you mounted these on a 16 inch center, like in your garage wall, uh, there wasn't enough room between these two guys with these brackets on. So I ended up putting a two by eight up here on a wall and screwed it into the, into the studs. Um, so that's one thing. The other thing I wanted an inch and a half clearance because these wheels would hit the wall if these guys were against the wall. So, if you already have these bound at 16 inches, if you add these wheels or something like that, they're going to get in the way. So, just want to let you guys know in case you don't want to move your mounting brackets. Alright, well just to wrap this up, we have a inch and a half by 3 16 inch uh, angle iron. It's 6 inches long, drilled a 7 16 inch hole this way in here. Put these inch and a half wheels on there. This is two inch, quarter inch thick flat iron. Well, then an inch of that back here on the back of these brackets to keep this from coming up. And that's all it took. Remember to round this corner back here because that will dig in. You need to kind of match the contour of this round tubing here. And that's it. And may I tell you what, these things are a lot more easy to position and a lot more enjoyable to use. 
they are heavy so uh, putting them up on the wall here takes a little bit of oomph but hopefully this was use, uh, useful to uh, for you and uh, that's it